Assalamu alaikum everyone. It's a wonderful to have you joining me. It's time to learn the hallmark of scientific research with Dr. Asim. The first one is purposiveness. Every research has its aim or purpose. For example, being a manager, you are conducting a research and the focus is on increasing the commitment of employees to the organization as this will be beneficial in many ways. An increase in employee commitment will translate into less turnover, less absenteeism and probably increased performance level of all the employees and benefit the organization. The second one is rigor. A good theoretical base and a sound methodological design add rigor to a purposive study. Rigor means uh, carefulness, exactitude of the research. For example, let's say the manager of an organization asks 10 to 12 of its employee, employees to indicate what would increase their level of commitment to it. If solely on the basis of their responses, the manager reaches several conclusions on how employee commitment can be increased, the whole approach to the investigation is unscientific. Why? Because there are just few responses. Framing and addressing the questions can create a bias and a very small sample size. The third one is the stability. If after taking to a random selection of employees of the organization and study of the previous research done in the area of organizational commitment, the manager or researcher develops certain hypothesis on how employee commitment can be enhanced then this can be tested by applying certain statistical tests to the data collected for the purpose. For instance, the researcher might hypothesize that those employees who perceive greater opportunities for participation in decision making will have higher level of commitment. This is a hypothesis that can be tested when the data are collected a correlation analysis will indicate whether hypothesis is substantiated or not. The use of several other tests such as the chi-square test and t-test, it depends upon the distribution of the data. Okay, replicability. Replicability means we will place more faith and credence in these findings and conclusions if similar findings emerge on the basis of data collected by other organizations employing the same method. If for example, you conducted a research and the same research conducted by the other researchers. Using the same data, the result must be the same. Now precision and the confidence. Precision refers to the closeness of the findings to the reality based on the sample. In other words, precision reflects the degree of accuracy or exactitude of the results on the basis of the sample to what really exists in the universe. Precision and confidence, for example, if I estimated the number of production they lost during the year, due to absenteeism at between 30 and 40 as against the actual figure of 35. The precision of my estimation compares more favorably than if I had indicated that the loss of production days was somewhere between 20 and 50. You may recall the term confidence interval in statistics which is what is referred to here as precision. Confidence refers to the probability that our estimations are correct. 
that is if it is not morally enough to be precise but it is also important that we can confidently claim that 95% of the time our result will be true and there is only a 5% chance of our being wrong. This is also known as confidence level. Now objectivity. The conclusions drawn through the interpretation of the results of the data analysis should be objective. That is, they should be based on the facts of the findings derived from the actual data and not on our own subjective or emotional values. If for example, in the current situation, if someone says, if you use this medicine at, and it will help you to reduce the symptoms of coronavirus, but how many people have taken the medicine and what are the results are derived on the basis of those patients so we if we are writing the results on the basis of the data it means we are objective otherwise there is subjectivity there may be some emotions now if we have the data we can uh, and we have confidence in the data now we can generalize generalize means refers to the scope of applicability of the research findings in one organizational setting to the other settings if for example as we discussed if you have confidence that this medicine can be beneficial for the patient of the coronavirus and backed by some data we can refer to the other patients parsimony parsimony means simplicity in explaining the phenomena of the process if for example if two or three specific variables in the work station are identified which when change would raise the organizational commitment of the employees by 45 percent that would be more useful than valuable to a manager than if it were recommended that he or she could change 10 different variables in other words or simply if you can take the better results by taking two or three variables why you should go for 10, 5 or 7 variables. Thank you very much. In the next lecture, we will discuss the building blocks of science and research.